Hi, my name is Jeremy Vendetti, and we're here looking at French Bar Canyon in the Fraser River system. We are about 420 kilometers upstream of the ocean at this point, and that is 420 kilometers following the Thalweg or the center of the river as we come upstream. There was a large landslide that happened in this canyon in 2018 that essentially blocked the river to fish passage and therefore received a lot of media attention. It happened in a pretty remote part of British Columbia. There's not a lot of people who live in this area. So no one really noticed that the landslide happened. It wasn't until a rafting guide was planning to take a trip down the Fraser River and began calling some local landowners and the people who operated the Big Bar Ferry and asked, is everything okay up in the river? And it turned out the response to that was no, that there is a, a blockage in the river. So the raft guide went up, had a look at it, and then notified the government and the Department of Fisheries and Oceans that the Fraser River was essentially blocked because the guide had recognized that fish could not pass uh, the blockage that was in the Fraser River. And so all that happened in June 2019. And so began the media coverage surrounding the landslide in the Fraser River and its effect on fish migration. So my research group uh, heard about this. We decided to go and look into it. And what we did is we started to search satellite uh, imagery archives. We found out that the slide actually occurred on November 1st, 2018. And so if you're counting, that's a full seven months before it was actually detected. Part of the reason why that happened, why it was not initially detected, is a landslide of this type is not particularly unique in the Fraser River system. Landslides like this happen all the time. This one in particular happened in a bad spot, and I'll explain that further as we go along. As the river crosses the interior plateau, it flows through a series of short intermittent canyons. The river is otherwise flowing in an alluvial channel. And so an alluvial channel is one in which the river is flowing through its own sediments and its own deposits. The material that makes up the bed and the banks of the Fraser in this part of the uh, system comes from terraces that are formed on either side of the Fraser River. Those terraces are made up of valley fills that are of glacial and fluvial origin. So upstream and downstream of canyons, like French Bar Canyon here, are these long alluvial reaches. Alluvial reaches tend to be much wider than bedrock reaches like the canyon we're looking at here. For French Bar Canyon, the canyon itself is about 145 meters wide on average. Upstream, it's 167 meters wide, and downstream, it's 198 meters wide. Now, that may seem unremarkable to you, the contrast between them. But the interesting thing is, within French Bar Canyon, the canyon is narrowed down to about 40 meters wide for a, a few hundred meters. The depth of uh, the channel upstream and downstream of French Bar Canyon is about five meters. The depth within French Bar Canyon on average is 11 meters, but the maximum depth is 30 meters. So this canyon is a prototypical canyon in this part of uh, the Fraser. It has a transition that goes from alluvial to a, a bedrock channel to a, an alluvial channel. And then within the canyon, it exhibits this morphology where it goes from being uh, relatively wide, uh, having a relatively wide bedrock channel, then into constrictions that laterally constrict the flow, um, concentrate it. Those, that concentrated flow carves deep pools. And then coming out of the constriction, the channel gets wider again. And so we refer to this as a constriction pool widening morphology that is quite typical in bedrock rivers. And if you look at French Bar Canyon here, you can see the first major constriction that the river 
encounters, it turns out that there's one immediately downstream of here as well. And the place where the landslide happened is right here. It happened in the first constriction in French Bar Canyon and came down off of the hill slope that you can see uh, just right immediately in behind me and went into the river, blocking it. So on November 1st, 2018, a rock slide came down into the Fraser River here at the first constriction in French Bar Canyon, which is immediately in behind me. The volume of that rock slide was not very large. It was only 100,000 cubic meters. And you'll see later on in the trip that much, much larger uh, rock slides and landslides have happened in the Fraser River that have ultimately blocked the channel. But the reason why this landslide became a problem is because of where it happened. It actually blocked the river for about seven hours. It impounded about 650,000 cubic meters of water. And what that did is upstream of the landslide blockage, it created sort of like a slow moving lake that we refer to as a backwater. But ultimately after seven hours, that slide debris that came off of the hill slope was overtopped. And it began to form what we refer to as an overfall. So an overfall is similar to a waterfall, except in a waterfall, flow usually completely detaches. Water comes uh, off of the top of the waterfall, detaches, and then falls down into a plunge pool. With an overfall, there's more of a steep cascade of water that comes down without detachment from the bed of the river. And so this formed a hydraulic barrier to fish migration, and this is why it got all the media attention and has become such a big problem. As so we refer to something as being a hydraulic barrier, we mean that uh, the water is moving too fast for a fish to move upstream past it. And so it is this overfall that currently exists uh, that is jeopardizing salmon populations in the Fraser River system. It's not presently clear why the landslide at Big Bar happened, but it is important where it occurred. It happened immediately downstream of a lateral constriction in the Fraser River, where flow plunges into a deep pool. That plunging flow sends high velocity uh, fluid from the surface down along the bed of the river into the bottom of the pool. And once it gets into the bottom of the pool, that high velocity water has to come back up again. And the way that it does that is it moves laterally in the river and forms up what we refer to as a secondary circulation cell, where high velocity fluid goes down to the bottom of the pool and then recirculates back up the canyon wall. And so as it's doing that, what's happening is you're driving water uh, into the canyon walls and also sediment into the canyon walls, and that causes undercutting of the rock banks in a, in a canyon. And you can imagine that you can only undercut the rock banks for so long before they become destabilized and ultimately collapse into the river. And that's what we presently think happened in French Bar Canyon, causing the Big Bar landslide. This is drone footage of flow in French Bar Canyon collected in June 2020 during the high flow period. On the left hand side of this drone footage, at the upstream side, you can see uh, the first constriction in French Bar Canyon where the landslide happened on the lower part of that constriction. And then you can see the second major constriction in French Bar Canyon on the downstream or right hand side of the video.
You can see the effects of constriction on flow here. There is a backwater that happens upstream of the constriction of slower moving water and deeper water. And then coming through the constriction, you can see that V shape form. That V shape is caused by flow accelerating through the constriction and then that water follows along the bed and into the pool that is immediately downstream of this constriction. So the flow is vertically plunging from the backwater area over the slide debris and then down along the bed of the river into the pool there. You can also see that there are eddies formed on either side of the channel. And there are two components to those uh, large scale eddies that are formed downstream of the constriction where the river is getting wider. One component is a lateral recirculation. And that's where we have water dominantly going downstream, but uh, where we see the widening of the river, we see that some of that water is coming back upstream again. And we refer to that as a lateral recirculation cell. We also see where the river is getting wider that there is upwelling happening. And that upwelling happens because we have high velocity water going through the constriction and then down along the bed, and that high velocity water needs to come back up again. And the way it does that is through these large scale eddies or upwellings that come up the sides of the canyon. And so that is evidence that there is lateral flow that is carrying sediment into the walls of this canyon. And as I mentioned earlier, that causes undercutting and undermines the canyon walls. And that sets up a situation in which a rock fall can happen once the channel has been undermined at the base uh, to an extent that it creates instability in the rock uh, up above the waterline. video of the flow in French Bar Canyon after the rock slide happened, but before any major engineering work were undertaken in French Bar Canyon to try to clear the landslide debris. As you can see here, this is a pretty unforgiving reach of the Fraser River. The flow velocities are very high, and the overfall that you can see there is also very difficult for fish to navigate. So some of the rock that you can see here has since been removed. In particular, on the far side of the channel, much of that rock has been blown up, and that has substantially improved flow through here that will facilitate better fish migration. But nonetheless, more rock needs to be removed here to restore this back to uh, its original condition. The Big Bar landslide is not particularly unique. Rock slides like this happen all the time in the Fraser system. There are sites that we will visit during our trip where we'll see much bigger landslides. For example, where Texas Creek meets the Fraser River, there were landslides that were millions of cubic meters of material. And of course, we'll stop during the trip at Hell's Gate, where there was another big rock slide that narrowed the Fraser River. These landslides are not particularly unique. They happen all the time in the Fraser River. This one was particularly troublesome because it happened in a narrow constriction of the Fraser Canyon and the material blocked the canyon 
and then caused the hydraulic barrier that affected fish uh, migration. Now the risk of future landslides is real. We know that they happen all the time, we have evidence of them happening in the past, and we should be expecting them to happen in the future. But right now, nobody's looking for them. And that's a huge problem for Fraser salmon and their management in the Fraser River.